Merthyr Tydfil, a town in the heads of the valleys, just over the mountain from Glanask Estate. Merthyr was once the largest town in Wales. It was one of the first modern industrial towns, a great centre of music, literature, religion and art. A political town, a noisy drunken town, the largest producer of iron and steel in the world. Vast fortunes were made in Merthyr. Very little of the money stayed, but some of the people did. Oh, I'm Leah Sanyasi and I'm a freelance event technician and I went to Green Man on work experience. I'm David and I go to Memphis Hill College and I study a film and television course. Uh, my name is John. I've been to Green Man once before, so that this is my second year now with college. My name is Reese, and this is my Green Man experience. The Green Man Festival, now the largest music festival in Wales. One of the biggest independent festivals in Britain. Winner of this year's Grassroots Award at the Festival Awards. Winner of Best Medium Size Festival in 2011. Green Man's venue is 12 miles from Merthyr over the wine. The site is owned by descendants of one of Merthyr's Iron Masters. Each year, the Green Man Festival invites up to five students studying at the College Merthyr Tydfil to take part in the festival. This year, they made a short film. This is the story of their experience at Green Man. The drive to the Green Man wasn't as long as I thought it would be. It wasn't really that far away. I mean, it was probably the best part of an hour to 45 minutes, something like that. On the first day that we arrived at Green Man, um, I wasn't as nervous as the first time I went, but as we got closer to the site, a little bit of nerves started to kick in. But when I just got to the camping area, it all sem seemed so familiar, and I just calmed down. The site when I arrived, it was a lot bigger than I expected. I wasn't really sure what to expect, because I hadn't really been to anything like this before, but um, yeah, it, it's you know, pretty big. Really quite hard to get used to, really. We all woke up after not getting much sleep of what we planned, and then headed over for breakfast. The breakfast was um, full English cooked breakfast, basically, and easily, in my opinion, the best of every day that we were there. We had a meeting and decided what we'd be doing for our stay at Green Man. We decided to do a small documentary. Um, seeing what it's been like throughout the years, how Green Man's progressed, and seeing what it's been like for the crew being there for Green Man's 10th anniversary. I, I'm Alison Miller, and I look after um, kind of press and marketing at Green Man. The Green Man to me, um, I don't know, I think it means a lot to different people. There's different aspects of Green Man there's the music side, there's the literature, the film, and I kind of think that. You know, each person can come to Green Man and have a completely different experience. So one person could kind of be out all night in the far out tents, um, kind of dancing, or you could be in the family tent or the literature. There's lots of different things to kind of dip into. Um, everyone, you know, there's a quality kind of Green Man stamp is a bit of a quality, so people can come here and see bands they maybe haven't heard before, but they kind of trust that it's going to be good. We kind of just decorated the site. Um, we did all the crew bars, we did all the other bars, there was a lot of bunting involved. Um, then we helped put the scrim up on the stage, which is the, uh, the green man signage on either side of the speakers on the main stage, which was a lot of fun. The rest of the evening we spent filming up loading up for digital MacBook so we could screen the film in the cinema tent the following day. It was very stressful. Actually, my favourite thing is just being in the hills and stuff and, and the views and things. Uh, you um, discover new bands that you didn't know before and it's friendly. 
Okay. Have you enjoyed Green Man? Yes, yeah, amazing. What He's enjoyed enjoy? a lot of men. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Green Lots Man. Green men, yeah. yeah, feeling a bit grumpy and tired today, really. But Green Man's been really great. I love it. Yeah. Food. This is my first year at Green Man Festival, and all the people are really nice. Everyone's got their kids with them. It's really nice. Everyone's sort of like everyone's mingling. Everyone's chatting. It's one of those festivals. It's just like really nice vibes. Good vibes. Good good music. This is a mix of everything. This is families. This is like people with my walks, um, people working, everything. Like, it's good. <laughs> Seven years to be coming there, and I still can't find my tent. <laughs> right. Uh, this is Green Man Festival. Hey, everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The last morning of Green Man and we're just waiting for our tents to dry out before we can pack them away. It's been a really good good couple of days, really enjoyed it. I've just been wrapping as many cables as I can and, and kind of trying to keep the mud off of me, really. That's been my Green Man. On our last day of Green Man, we were all disappointed to be leaving. Such a friendly and well thought of festival. I hope to go back next year and many more years to come. Six months later and Di and John are back in the college working on their fictional films for their degree courses. Forget about you. They were brilliant. Come and have a look. Uh, my dad was a builder, scaffolding. Mum was a nurse. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything. Granddad was a coal miner. <laughs> there was nothing. <laughs> so. My fa father works in a factory, uh, and my mother's a stay at home housewife. I just figured we'd be there just watching, just observing and stuff. But um, yeah, it was really hands on in there. Just then sort of get the idea of we were given the film to do and to edit and it was being shown. And, uh. It made me more serious, it made me feel like I know what I'm doing in a sort of sense. More, being more confident in myself. As well as the times you have to get up, the, what work is expected of you and so on. I suppose it's good being around sort of people who are working. Really actually being a part of a crew and feeling you had responsibilities. Just checked at you <laughs> and then he's like oh I have to do it <laughs> and like yeah sort of like pressure but it didn't feel too overwhelming but it was unexpected so I feel that like, uh, I could work in a sort of serious I could have a sort of serious mentality when I, when I set down to work and then if like there's a deadline or we have to do something I can feel like okay I can just rely on my team and work together just making films I really do enjoy making films it's something <laughs> so creating and just sharing it on whatever YouTube or whatever. I mean, I'm enjoying that right now. <laughs> That's my part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you.